In this lecture, we will learn what is a child route and how to create and use a child route in Angular. A child route is also called as nested route. In simple terms, we can say that child route is a route within another route. So in this lecture, let's learn how to create a child route and display the child components. In our Angular application, if I go to this courses page, there we are displaying a list of courses. And when I click on the detail button of any one of these courses, for example, if I click on this detail button of this Node.js course, it will display the details of that course. And in the URL, you will see that the route is courses slash course slash the ID of the course. Now, if I go back to VS Code, for that path, we are defining a route here. So here, the route is courses slash course slash the ID of that course. For that, we are using this ID route parameter. And whenever this path is typed, we are displaying the view of course detail component. Now, if you notice, we already have a route for this courses path. And then we are also creating a new route for courses slash course slash ID path. So what we can do is instead of defining this path like this, here we can create a child route. So let me comment this one. And we want to create a child route for this courses route. How we will do that? For that, just like how we create a route, here also we will specify a route. Here we will specify the path. And this route should be a child route of this courses path. So here we will specify the path as courses. Okay. And then we will specify another property called children. And to this children property, we need to assign an array. And inside this array, we can define all the child routes. So here, the parent route will be this route. Because if you see, the path which we have specified here is courses. And for this path, we have already defined a route here. So this route will be the parent route. And now inside this children array, whatever route we will specify, that will be the child route. So here, I'm going to specify a route where I will specify the path. And the path is going to be course slash ID. So this path here is similar to this courses slash course slash ID. Okay. So when this route will be called in the address bar, the path will be courses slash course slash ID. And when that route is typed in the address bar, we want to display the details of this course detail component. So here I'll specify the component property and to that we will assign course detail component. And this is it. This is how we create a child route. So for this child route, the parent route is the route whose path matches this path. In this case, the parent route will be this route. And for this route, the parent component will be course component. Okay, because it is this component which we are assigning for this route path. So this will be the parent component. And this course detail component, it is the child component for this course component. With this, if we save the changes, if we go to the web page, and here we have some error. Okay, we are missing a comma. Let's go back. Let's specify a comma here. All right, let's save the changes again. Let's go back to the web page. Let's go to courses page and there let me click on this details button and you will notice that the details of that course has been displayed here if i go back to courses again and if i click on the details button of this course so the details of that course is being displayed here and if you notice the route path it is courses slash course slash the id of the course so here we have created a child route. Now in the same way inside this array, we can add multiple child routes. For example, here I'll say comma and let's say I want to add another child route. I'll specify the path here. Let's say the path is maybe popular. Okay. And let's specify the component and here I'll specify maybe popular component. So we already have a component called popular component. So now we are specifying two child routes for this route. With this, if we save the changes, if we go to the web page 
and in the address bar if i type root url slash courses slash popular and if i press enter you will see that here we are displaying all the popular courses okay so in this way you can have multiple child routes inside this children array and this is how we define a child route 